Welcome back to Adult Basic Skills. My name is Jada and I'm here to teach you how to break out of your comfort zone by becoming an adult skater. This video will be going over the skills for level five in the Adult Basic Skills curriculum. Backward Outside Edge. This move can be a little trickier than its forward counterpart. For this, you really wanna make sure your head and torso are leaning into the circle or towards the center. I'm actually not doing the best job in this video. I should be keeping my hips more locked instead of turning into the circle because that's actually throwing off my balance. As with a lot of skills, don't expect to hold it as long as the whole circle. Really the idea is that you wanna hold it for about three seconds. Backward inside edge. Because there's not a lot to talk about for this one that I didn't already talk about the outside, I'm actually just showing you a, a really useful way that you can practice these by doing a couple pumps, lifting your foot up for a second, and then doing a couple more pumps until you get more comfortable in holding the edge. You might also feel like you need to hike your free hip a little bit higher than you normally would for the outside edge. That is completely normal. Backward crossovers. This is a skill where leaning into the circle is really going to come in handy. You might see most figure skaters doing this kind of crossover, but we're gonna start on a little bit more of a rudimentary way, even though that's actually really uncomfortable for me. So just like the forward crossovers, there are two pushes in a crossover. There's your first push, and then as you cross over your back leg with your front leg, you're going to push a second time with that foot pushing away from you. The idea is that you want to replace your foot every time you push so that your back leg is being replaced by your front leg. And as you bring your leg back to reset it is now replacing your foot that you picked up. The more you lean onto your back outside edge, the more secure this is gonna feel. Eventually, you can go this fast and it becomes second nature. Forward outside three turns. For this skill, we're going to revisit two foot turns. Twist all the way to one side with just your torso and head, bend your knees, twist your lower body, and straighten. These are the basic mechanics of any turn. The core difference with the three turn is balancing on one foot and maintaining torque. Notice how my two foot and three turn look very similar. A couple of pointers. Keep your free foot out of the way. Make sure your hips are turning with your lower body. And you should feel a twist in your sides entering and exiting the turn. That is your check. A lot of beginners muscle their first dozen three turns because they don't trust their edges. So they don't do the proper up, down, up motion. Don't rush these. Ride your outside edge and gradually twist until you reach the point of no return. Then press and use your counter twist to check the turn. There are good and less good turns in this video. The less good ones are where my free hip doesn't stay behind the same side's shoulder. So this makes me lose control of the exit edge and causes me to unravel. So something to think about. And here's an edge exercise that you can do once you feel comfortable doing outside three turns on both legs. Forward outside swing rolls. These look a lot trickier than they actually are. If we break it down into six beats, three beats are spent with your free leg behind you and three in front. When you push, your free leg stays behind you as you count to three. And in the space between three and four is when your free foot just passes through to increase your curve. The only thing your skating foot is doing is riding an outside edge. Bonus points if you point your toes. The ice dancer flare is looking to the side in the direction that you're skating, but this is by no means a prerequisite for this skill. Two foot spin. 
We're going to start with a pivot. I have my left arm in front and right arm to the side. With my left toe pick in the ice, I pump my right leg a couple of times and on the third pump, I release my toe pick and pull my arms in, rocking on my spin rockers just behind my toe picks. I like to think of this as the space between my toes and the ball of my foot. Now, I'm not the best two foot spinner because it's just not really relevant, but the faster you go, the better your rotations will be. So you really do want to try to put as much energy into your pumps as possible for this particular entry. And checking out for this is pretty easy. You just bring your arms back to the position that we started in. And that's the end. Thanks for watching.